back down at my favorite beach. Got me another ring. The tide's way out. I was actually playing around with the day use and mucking around with the settings. And I actually figured out a, a few settings that are giving me good results in this saturated sand, which it hates. And uh, the other program I was running, the feedback was just almost impossible to deal with. But well, it's one of the last things I would have expected to find on the beach. Yeah, lantern top. Yeah, well, I'll take it. It's got some age to it. All right, <clears throat> I'm back at the farm site. I got a rather nice little suspender clip. It's a style I haven't found here before. Uh, I like it. Let's see if we can get her to focus on it. There it is. It's a little fella. It's pretty cool though. Happy to have it. Not sure what this is. I move it into my hand a little bit. Come on now. There are the little brass bars doesn't look like a buckle and it was gold gilded at one point there it is yeah I don't know what that is I'll take it though see you on the next hey there doing a little brush clearing off the side of my house to extend my yard out a bit house is right up there I just dug what looks to be a Chinese coin but there's no holes in the center The single focus, yeah, there it is. It's definitely a Chinese coin. Don't know how old this is. It's 10 something or other. I'll take it. It's a nice find. If I figure out what it is, I'll let you know. See you on the next. Alrighty, I'm still down here clearing brush and swinging as I go, and I just found a pretty awesome silver coin. Look at that. Let me get it in my hand here. Let's see if she'll focus. There it is. 20 centavo. Boy, if I can get it. Looks like the sun's causing me some trouble. The glare. All right, 20 centavos. See the volcano there, and on the bottom it says Philippines. I actually know this coin, but here's what's super interesting about it. This. is a U.S. minted coin for the Philippines. United States of America. Look at that thing. 1944. This must have been right at... They couldn't have made it much longer than this because it started right around the uh, First World War. But that's pretty awesome. Silver coin. I believe it's 70%. Yeah. Nice find. Alrighty, we'll see you on the next one. Alright. Just got me another super interesting coin. Looks like another Chinese coin. Yeah, look at that thing. Right, I'm going to brush it off here a bit and I'll show you what I got in a second. Check this thing out. Yeah, I don't know if that's 1919. I don't even know if those are actually numbers. They probably are just symbols. This half tank is pretty bitching, but check this side out. Looks like we got a bust on there with the interesting hat. Alright, I'm still working with this new clearing. Right down from my house here. Just another crazy foreign coin. Let's see here. Look at that. King George V. King Emperor, it looks like. And then check this side out India, Anna, 1930. It's unbelievable. Okay, you know, I love the old kids' toys and this thing. I don't know what it is yet, but that is really cool. Look at that. Captain Midnight's SS, 1949 no idea what this was or what this is but by the fact it says Captain Midnight's on the top 
I'm guessing it's a piece of a children's toy of some sort. I'll look it up when I get home. It's an excellent find. Boy, I'm having a hoot down here. I better get back to work though. This wasn't what I was supposed to be doing. All right, we'll see you in the next one. All right, I got a high tone here. Figure we look for it together and see what it is. Oh, there it is, another coin. Another foreign coin. Wow. It's like somebody took their coin collection and threw it down here. Uh, 1954. Uh, Republic. Very similar to the other one. It's got different writing. It's definitely in better shape. That is awesome. I don't know what, if there's, how you would figure out a date on these guys. I mean, that does look like a 19 and then maybe a 1. I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. I'm going to do my best to look these coins up and see what they are, but that is the sixth foreign coin I have found in literally a 30 foot by 10 foot section that I just cleared. Unbelievable. Alright, see you on the next one. Just got me a nice little flat bar. Nail puller. I like it. Looks like it's in great shape. I'll be able to use this. Alright, we'll see you on the next. Alright, found something with some definitely some ugly history here. Let's see what we got. Alright, get to focus in. Yeah, five, and didn't know what it was when I first saw it, and then I flipped it around. Unbelievable, this is under the ground at my house. It's a wartime Nazi coin, 1942. There's a swastika under the eagle. Yep, that's history, but it is... Uh, some seriously ugly history. Alrighty, last thing I expected to find. Unbelievable. I don't understand why all these odd foreign coins are all over this little patch of ground here, but I keep pulling them up. Alrighty, I'll see you next. Alright, I got another strange foreign coin. This one's got a pretty cool looking bust on it. Let's see if we can get her to focus here. There it is. Yeah, I don't see a date on it. This one looks like it might be an older coin. I don't know. I have to clean it up some more later. Hit one more foreign coin out of this little clearing. I see next. So this 1865 Indian head that I found in White Plains, which is just a stunning coin, but it's uh, Standard 5, apparently uh, early in 1865, the first coins had the Standard 5, where you see the top of the 5 is roughly straight, with just a little bit of a upturn at the end, and the Fancy 5 has a very pronounced upturn, so that's pretty cool, this was the year Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. And uh, that coin was produced in the first few months of 1865, so it is uh, possible it was at the theater where he was assassinated. Unlikely, but possible. Alrighty then, so, the stuff found on the video. A little junk brooch. Nothing terribly special, not a single stone left in it. I got these bronze bars. I think they might be military, but I can't really say for sure. Little suspender clip, probably early 1900s. It's actually quite nice little suspender clip. It'll go in nicely with my others. And I didn't record this little nail. It's interesting. It's square on the tip, and then it's round at the top, and it's... Uh, copper or bronze that's uh, just an interesting little nail I found at the farm site 
And then uh, down on the beach, I found this little Art Deco ring, which is pretty cool. I believe those are rhinestones on the sides there, and the stone is not a diamond. It is silver, stamped 925 inside. Whoop. Doubt I'll be able to get it to see it. It's pretty faint right there. But uh, I like it. It's a nice little ring. I'm guessing it's probably 30s, maybe 40s. Could be earlier, not sure. It's a nice find. Camera died when I was on the beach and I was filming that, so I didn't get the rest of it on film. But anyhow, that's hard to see. You can see the stars around the edge, and you can just make out the bust. And it is thin as paper. Nothing on the back. But that is indeed a V-nickel. Got five or five, four or five of these off of the beach. And uh, believe it or not, that one's probably the, no, it's not the best one. I got another one, 1902, that you actually can see under a flashlight. All right, so this one here I found at my house here. I don't think it's got really great age, but it definitely looks like a 20s buckle of some sort, but it's a decorative buckle. Shoe buckle, sash buckle, something. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I really have no idea. It could be older than I think. But it's actually pretty heavy duty. It looks really thin, but it's got some weight to it. And the biggest harmonica reed I have ever seen. That's almost double the size of your standard harmonica reed. Maybe it's not for harmonica, but I'm guessing it is with the two holes on each side. Yep, that's pretty interesting. It's a big harmonica reed. Alrighty, and the foreign coins that I found, well, this one's not foreign, but it's yet another Washington State tax token. Uh, found loads of those. I got these found two of these. They're from Austria. That's the phoenix on there. See, it's holding a scythe and a hammer. Actually, I'll have to show you the other coin. I think it's got a little more clear. Yeah, there it is. Let me get to focus. Yeah, you can see the scythe and the hammer. It's not too clear. These are aluminum. I thought they might have been silver to begin with. I had my gloves on, so I couldn't feel the weight. But, uh, Yep, they are from Austria. And then got a couple other coins that I thought might have been Asian, Chinese at the beginning, but indeed that's not what they are. So you can see that bus there, but then you look at the back of it. There it is. Yep. Pretty sure that's an Arabic coin. I don't know if that's the date. 1919 or it's a backwards 7. I'm not sure. I haven't been able to figure it out yet. But pretty sure that's an Arabic coin. I got one other Arabic coin that I suspected when it was dirty was Chinese coin. That's pretty... That's pretty crazy. That's, uh, yeah, that looks like it'd be pretty tough to read. But that's pretty cool. And another really interesting coin that I dug up out of my yard is this one here. It's uh, George V. It says King Emperor. But then when you flip it over, and I can get it to focus on it. Oh. Got to turn it a bit here. Sorry. There we go. India. One on a 1930. So, I looked this coin up and it was actually was minted in India and they used the uh, George the Five bust. I'm not sure why I didn't actually get that far into the research, but it's pretty interesting. 
And another interesting coin that I found. Look at that guy. Yeah, he looks pretty serious. Not sure what that item is behind his head. And I can't find a date or anything on this coin. But I'm going to keep looking, see if I can find it. I haven't found any information on it yet, but I do dig that bust. That's pretty cool. And I did find one Chinese coin. I'm not sure how old this is. I'm guessing it's, you know, in the 20th century, maybe early 1900s. I'm not sure. I'm used to seeing these guys with a hole in the center, but that's definitely an Asian coin. All right. And then uh, this ugly little fella here. Yeah, look at that. 1942. That's a German. Uh, I think it says Second Reich on there. So this was right at the height of uh, all the nonsense they were up to. Yeah, it's five something. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I looked it up. Got a little information on it. Yep, that's some ugly history there. Ugh, yikes. Yep, well, found that in my yard. That was uh, a little sobering to say the least. That's the last thing right, I expected next to Next coin see. I found in my yard is a silver coin. This is pretty cool. Yeah, 20 centavos. Philippines. And this coin was minted in the U.S., United States of America, 1944. This is another wartime coin. I suspect that these coins may have been brought by, by an enlisted man. And then maybe his kids grabbed them, went out to play with them in the yard, and lost them. Not sure why they all ended up in that one area down the hillside, but it's pretty interesting. This is one of my favorite things I found for sure. Captain Midnight, 1949, the SS, and there's two rockets on there. Looks like a clock with wings. That's a 1949 secret decoder toy. Yep, this guy was probably running around the hillside with... This revolver I found nearby, the Texan Junior, is probably packing that when he was using that Dakota ring. Yep, that's a pretty neat find. So that is pretty much it. Oh, one other thing. I found this a while back, but it seems how these wartime coins seem to be in play. This is pretty interesting. It's just a wheat scent. And it's not wanting to focus. It's a 1942, year after Pearl Harbor was bombed. And somebody shot it with a 22. He's probably standing back telling his buddies I can hit a penny at 50 yards. And he did, and it hit it right on the shoulder, which makes it look three dimensional. I just thought that was pretty interesting. Just a wheat scent. 1942. Beginning of World War II. Yep, pretty neat coin. Alrighty then. That would be a lot of it. And uh, we'll see you in the next hole. Cheers.